Hey, welcome back to the garden pit. Hey, I thought I'd take you on a little tour before the storm. Yeah, there's a hurricane up on its way and it's headed this way. If that made any sense. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure many of you have probably heard of it. So, uh, right now it's called Hurricane Sandy. It's going to merge with uh, another storm coming from the uh, northwest and they're calling it a hybrid storm or uh, some people are calling it a frankenstorm but uh it's not looking good it's uh we're pretty much uh close to ground zero here so uh i thought i'd just take you on a little tour and let you see what stuff looks like before the storm hold on Well, as you can see, there's a lot of leaves falling out here on the ground already. It's a wildcat getting crazy. She must know something's going on. But anyway, uh, there's a lot of leaves down here. There's a tree here. That's pretty much where these are coming from. We'll see what this looks like after the storm. Will there be any leaves left? There's plot one. Uh, anything's left in here is a few flowers and those uh, peppers that I did with the pepper dirt experiment. They're still growing and producing peppers. There's plot two, no plot three, uh, this is the garlic uh, plot. I'm starting to see stuff popping already. I don't know if you can see that. There's sun there to clouds from the storm are approaching already still way down south here it is stuff's sprouting already some right there some over there but uh, this is the garlic and uh, potato onion plot I don't know if any potato onions just sprouting yet yeah it looks like they're gonna come up if you can see it. Yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of this uh, zoom thing here. That's uh, one of the potatoes there coming up through the straw. I ain't wasting no time. But they're going to get a good drink. Uh, <clears throat> bought some uh, chrysanthemums or Mums, as some people call it. I call them mums. And I plant them in the back here. This is pretty much like a, a little nursery thing. But uh, what I'm going to do with these is uh, next next year when they start growing again, I'm going to take cuttings off of these. They're, and they're all pretty cool looking mums there. And I'm going to grow, grow the cuttings and, and see if I can get me some nice plants. I have a, a plan for next year. Here's plot four, sweet peppers. And they're doing okay. I don't know if they're going to make it through. Get some ripe ones here. And yeah, they got them all staked up and all, but this wind's supposed to be pretty crazy. And here's these peppers. They're pretty cool looking, but I don't know what they are. I got them, uh, through a seed trade, they were supposed to be these uh, corbachis. This is what they're supposed to look like down here. That's, that looks like a corbachi. Try to get one out of the cage here. Yeah, see, this thing's long. That looks like a corbachi. I had bought some seed from a seed company in, in Turkey. Corbachi, so. Hopefully they'll be cool and they'll come through. And that one's supposed to be a kobachi. See, they don't look nothing like a kobachi. Yeah, this is what's left of the, uh, of the Jimmy Nordellos. And these back here, I forgot what these are called, but uh, They put on some peppers at the end of the season here. See, 
I don't know if you can see all them. I'm getting ripe in there. That's a uh, plot four. I moved the potato plants back here. I put, put all four of them back here. Fill them up a little more uh, soil. Yeah, so they can get some more sun back here. Hopefully I can get some potatoes there for Thanksgiving. Here's plot five. This is the broccoli and uh, four plants in the back are cauliflower. Now I'm not sure if these are going to make it or not. They're growing awful slow. Uh, but uh, looks like somebody's been eating on that one. But um, I planted them. I had some last year they ever wintered because it was such a mild winter. That's plot, plot six. Yeah, uh, hot pepper plot, and they're still going strong. This thing is loaded, but on the plant don't look too hot, but it's still loaded. There's some cool looking peppers. These were, these were supposed to be bohemian goat peppers, but they weren't. That's uh, brain strain, Trinidad scorpion brain strain, the yellow one. And these are the Trinidad brain strain reds. Yeah, that don't look like that. A picture I've seen of them uh, Bohemian goat peppers. I bought some more seed uh, this fall. Hopefully they'll come true. There's some Trinidad scorpion yellows in here, but I can't find them. They really, oh, here they are. There's one. Look at that thing. Finally getting ripe. I've been waiting and waiting. They take forever to get ripe. Will they make it through the storm? This will probably get ravaged, but that's okay. It's the end of the season. I'll just end up picking them, picking them, giving them away, making some sauce, drying some of them. There's that one for you there, Brendan. Got some seeds saved for you, buddy. Hey, they're cool looking peppers. They don't get red, they stay purple all the time. There's purple naga. You don't see too much here. I picked a lot of the ripe ones off. These these two here were supposed to be uh, what do you call it? Um, goat weed peppers. They're not goat weed peppers. Goat weeds have hairy leaves and stuff but uh they're nice looking peppers and all they won't go to waste here's this uh behoot jalokia peach i deceded some of these already you should, this, the uh, aroma of these peppers is wild and i never smelled a pepper it smelled like this it's really kind of have a sweet sweet smell to it really cool There's these bad boys. They're loaded. It's uh, CGN 21500, I think they call them. They're not smaller now. Getting near the end of the season. But that's the pepper plot here in the jungle. So this pepper's almost uh, six foot high here. This is uh, Trinidad Scorpion uh, Red. No, Trinidad Scorpion Brain Strain Red. Uh, we're in the jungle. Yeah, we almost had a, had a frost probably three weeks ago. That had been very early for here. We got down to 33. But uh, everything came out fine. What the hell? Never see that before? A wildcat.
Got <laughs> seven. You got uh, mustard with the uh, red mustard in here. You know, stuff's grown since I put it in, but it's coming on slowly. Got uh, some cabbage. And this is all cabbage except for the last four that are uh, cauliflowers. Yep. There's plot eight. Shut that damn dog up. They got a uh, pole bean still growing here. They're doing okay. They're not as productive this year, huh? Not disappointed. These purple ones there, they pretty much shut down. I got the green ones all the way down here. But uh, they're, they're producing. It's late, but I'm getting some. Here's a long shot of the fall garden. Yeah, it's almost coming to an end there at the garden pit for the season. Yeah, we're in the gutter garden here. Tomatoes are about done. There's a few left on there. Whole beans. I've gotten plenty of seed out of this. I had three plants come up. I've been I had a lot of seed that I saved off of these. And we're anxious to grow these next year. Had extra broccoli through it, so I threw it in a bucket here since the spinach decided not to come up. See, no spinach. And I got some peas growing over here. Not all of them came up, but they're growing. Radishes are growing, but they're very slow. I yeah, planted a couple old mums over here, see if I can nurse them back to health there. They look pretty ragged. I had one carrot come up. This might be too late for him. And I got my carrots that I planted earlier in the season there. And there's the uh, pepper plant that I uh, stuck in the bucket there I thought was going to be an ornamental. Got plenty of little peppers on it though, and it loaded. I see a catbird out of here eating on these things. The catbird must like the hot peppers here. They said they're supposed to be hot. I ain't taste one yet, but they're loaded. Pretty cool looking plant though. It doesn't, it doesn't have a name. It's one of those ones that has a number. Hey, here's the strawberry plot. Everything seems to be growing all right. You know, getting ready for the winter. But up here, I had a little problem. Maybe you can see the barely anything left on here. I think a rabbit was eating, eating these, and a few of them came back. Even um, mess with these ones in the back over here. But uh, you got these other two rows. There's. There's three here that uh, don't look like they're going to make it. And there's one over here that doesn't look like it's going to make it. But uh, these other four have sprouted up. <laughs> like there's a tomato popping up there. there. It must have come out of that compost. But uh, I got the spares to plant here. But uh, yeah, it's doing okay. Yeah, that's it for today's tour. Yeah, like I said, uh, got that uh, storm rolling in. It should start getting some rain tonight a little bit, and it'll pick up as it goes along. Uh, tomorrow, we'll get some more rain, a little more wind. It's supposed to come in probably just north of us, or saying right now, around uh, New Jersey. Uh, probably. Monday night maybe in the early Tuesday morning we'll see it's not looking good there's a huge storm 
and uh, it's got a lot of wind, a lot of rain. It's going to be a lot of uh, power outages. I don't want to go through that again, but what can you do? So uh, we'll, we'll uh, give you an update there, uh, Mother Nature permitting. Thanks for watching. See you later. And don't forget to keep it growing out there.